Hi friends, I have recently reviewed Spider Farmer Smart Hydroponic System that supports Wi-Fi and app connectivity. One thing I didn't cover in that video is what we can do from the app. So here is a video about everything we can control through the app. I already connected the app. It is very simple and straightforward. The instructions are very clear. As soon as you install the app and open it, it will show the Smart Garden and you just need to click on it enter the Wi-Fi credentials etc and it will be connected pretty soon. Now let me get into the system. Right now I am running a low water so it is showing this warning that is good. Now getting started with the app. On the home screen we can see some uh, statistics or some data like temperature, humidity, power growth etc. Um, not very important though uh, but yeah if you, if you care yeah it is available. And the next uh, the main thing is the water tank. It is showing the water level as low. We can see the water level on the system screen itself. This is just an additional way of monitoring the water level. Now the important thing is the planting. That is most important thing. What kind of settings we can uh, adjust like the light schedule, light duration, etc. Now let me start with the plant menu. So in this uh, left bottom corner, you see the plant menu. Now here there are a couple of uh, plant templates. Honestly, I don't see much value here. You can pick here, for example, vegetable. This is a 12 hour duration that you can see here, basically running from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. So if you want to adjust the times, you can adjust the start timing. For example, you can change to 6 o'clock, but you cannot adjust the end time here. This is a fixed 12 hour template. Now going to other plant templates. So this is also 12 hours. So pretty much everything is 12 hours see here this is also 12 hour you can adjust uh, let's say start time and end time will adjust accordingly but it is a fixed 12 hour you cannot adjust the end time so i don't see much value in the plant template but the custom planting you can add uh, multiple custom planting this is really useful you can set up templates based on your plants here you have lot more control for example i created one template here so here I can adjust the start and end times and I can set the duration whatever I want. For example, I can start from 6 a.m. and I can set the end time to 10 p.m. So this is my standard schedule for all my hydroponic systems. They start at 6 o'clock and end at 10 p.m. I don't go a lot of customization. I don't really pick between plant to plant. I will just go with the standard 16 hour schedule from 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. for pretty much all the gardens. Uh, of course, some gardens don't support, for example, Aero Garden Harvest is uh, fixed uh, 15 hours or 15 and a half hours. I cannot control it. But uh, when possible, I will try to stick to 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. So see here, I can confirm this. So now, oh, by the way, so basically it comes with uh, two phases. The first phase is germination and the second phase is rest of the cycle. So phase one is the germination. So I am still sticking like, uh, let's say the light schedule is 6 to 10 but I can adjust the power here so I can keep it 0 or I can keep it 100% as I said in a couple of my videos I don't really prefer having lights during the germination because germination doesn't really need lights so all it needs is a little bit of temperature and a little bit of humidity so as long as that is there the germination will be successful but once I get the seedlings I want full power so I can actually during this uh, phase 1 I can change it to zero, confirm it. And for the phase two, I will stick to this uh, 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. schedule. And here I can choose the power to 100%. This is really good and uh, I love this customization. All the other plant templates, I can just uh, scratch it, but I can stick to my uh, planting template. So all these settings are saved. I can just go for it. So this is really good and I really love this customization. And I don't need to wake up at uh, 6 a.m. to start my garden like my uh, previous spider farmer hydroponics systems which are not smart. They are very good. Just one time I need to wake up at uh, 6 a.m. to start the schedule, daily schedule. Every time when, when I lose the power, I have to wake up again at uh, 6 a.m. and start the schedule. But uh, with this app, I, I can just customize from this app and I don't need to worry about waking up at 6 a.m. Honestly, this is the only feature I expect from any smart hydroponic system. But now let's see other settings. There is one very important setting I want to call out here, which is the vacation mode. The spider reformer supports vacation mode. 
what vacation mode means is it will basically reduce the light duration and uh, it will also reduce the water circulation with that the plant growth will be slowed down when the plant growth is slowed down obviously it will take less resources like less water less nutrition so if you are going on a vacation for uh, one week 10 days 15 days this is going to be really useful if you are going on a long vacation like a uh, three weeks or one month or more than that then i don't recommend any using any of this i'll simply kill the garden and start over when i'm back so that's how i normally handle it but here another beautiful thing is you can customize what you want to do like how long you want to run the lights and how how much power you need to keep for example i can say okay run the garden only for let's say four hours like say 6 a.m to uh let's say uh 10 a.m that's it so just four hours uh four hours a day and i can also say the power like uh, yeah uh, maybe 50 percent so definitely this will uh, there will be some impact with this vacation mode the plant growth will be slowed down so if you are going on two three day vacation don't use it uh, i think uh, with the bigger bowl we can manage like three to four days so don't worry about it but if you're going on one week or 10 day vacation i definitely recommend uh, using this vacation mode i really love it i really appreciate spider farmer for including this feature the next feature is customizing the pump running time I don't really customize it a lot. I just keep it simple like a 30 minutes run and a 30 minutes off. But if you want to customize it, like if you want to run 30 minutes on and 15 minutes off, or if you want to keep the pump running all 24 hours, you can customize it from this app. There are other teeny tiny features that we can control from this app, such as turning of the buzzer, turning of the lights, etc. But those are not really, really useful. The two main features that are very, very useful that we can control from this app are setting up the plant and adjusting the light timings, then the vacation mode. Apart from that, I don't really see a lot of value, but a lot of things are available if you really want to customize it from the app. One thing I wanted to call out very honestly is this app interface is much better than AeroGarden app interface. Hope when AeroGarden comes back, they will come back with a better interface and they will improve their app experience. But for now, the AeroGarden app experience is not that great in my opinion. I do not promote any product, but I will definitely highlight if there is any good feature compared to other hydroponic systems. At the same time, I also don't want to hide any issues that I am facing with any of the hydroponic system or their usage. It doesn't matter whether I bought the product myself or whether it is sponsored by the company. I will not hide any issues. At the same time, I will definitely call out and highlight if there are any good features compared to other hydroponic systems. Alright, that is all for now. Thanks for watching and happy hydroponics growing.